Hey mathematicians, let's talk about one of my favorite topics. I find it incredibly useful. It's called the unit rate. Okay, uh, rate is a ratio that compares two different measurements. So for example, Tillman, who's a Guinness Book of World Record holding skateboarding dog, um, skates skateboards at a rate of 100 meters for every 20 seconds. We got two different things going on, meters and seconds. We are going to simplify this rate so that one of these units ends up as a 1. So I'm looking at 120, thinking about what I can divide them both by. If you're not comfortable going straight from 100 over 20, dividing them by 20s, you can do it in a couple steps. Like I always go for, ooh, they both end in 0. That means I can divide them by 10. Divide by 10. Divide by 10. 100 divided by 10 is 10. That looks like a 6. 10 divided by 20 divided by 10 is 2. Then it might be easier for me to be like, oh, wait, I can definitely divide those both by 2. Divide by 2, divide by 2. That's 5 over 1. That 1 is super important. That's what makes it what's called a unit rate. If you saw right away, oh, hey, I can divide these both by 20, that's fine. Divide by 20. But you don't have to do it in one step if you're not comfortable. A unit rate, the whole topic that we're talking about here, is comparing two measurements in which the denominator, sometimes the numerator, but most of the time the denominator, has a value of 1. Think of it like this. Unit and uno... Uno means one, unit, one, unit rate has per one. Ooh, I said an important word there. Let's talk about it in a second. So you can calculate a unit rate by dividing. Remember that division can be written a few different ways, and one of them is a fraction bar. Your numerator goes inside your division house, your denominator goes outside, and you can do 100 divided by 20 is 5. So that's the trickier part, is you now have to remember it's 5 ones. Like remember a whole number is a fraction over one because we need that two unit comparison. And that's where the word per comes in. The word per means for every one. Think about where you've heard that word in real life. Miles per gallon. How many miles can you drive for every one gallon of gas? Um, miles per hour. How many miles can you drive in every one hour? Mm, I can't think of something else. Oh, wait, we're going to see an example. A rate and a unit rate are often found in real world situations. Like Homer is running. We want to talk about yards per second. Right now we're not in second in one second for every one, but we can simplify it and find out. 60 yards, if you want to add your units to make sure that you're staying on top of them, that's fine. For every 20 seconds. I want to make this a unit rate. I'm going to divide them both by, well, I'm going to start by dividing by 10 because, you know, they both end in zero. That's six yards for every two seconds, but I want that unit rate. I want for every one. I'm going to divide again, simplify. This becomes Homer can run three yards per second for every one second. Now, why I love this so much is because it's not just talking about for every second, for every mile per gallon, any of that. It can also be talking about money. So we're going to talk about ratios where we're keeping them with whole numbers. But my favorite way to use a unit rate is when I'm at the grocery store and I'm trying to figure out what's the best price per one of whatever I'm buying. That's going to be the next lesson.